All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna go over a simple SEO strategy to optimize new content. So as you're creating new content, some different ideas that you can use to make sure that it's optimized, make sure you're really creating it for the problems that people are facing. So the first thing you need to do is come up with exactly what you are creating. So the content that you're creating, the keywords that you're targeting. If you need a keyword research tutorial, you can use our video here. So we have a keyword research for SEO 2019. We talk about how to find the best keywords for your business, how to come up with keywords, and then how to come up with some different content ideas. So this is really where I'd start if you don't have a keyword list that you're already targeting. Now, as you start coming up with the type of content that you want to create, so I'm going to give you two examples here. I recently wrote an article about negative keywords, specifically Google Ads negative keywords. So I'm trying to rank basically for the keyword negative keywords, Google Ads negative keywords, and any long tail keywords that come along with those. And the upcoming article that I'm going to be writing is to go along with my video. So five steps to combine your SEO and PPC strategy. So basically what I do for new content to make sure that it's optimized for search engines and to make sure that I'm writing content that people are looking for is I'll first go to the Google Keyword Planner. So if you go to the Google Keyword Planner, you enter the types of keywords that you're targeting. So I just entered simply PPC and SEO and SEO and PPC, clicked on get results, and it came up with these different keyword ideas. So SEO PPC, SEO and PPC, and then as I come down here, SEO and PPC marketing strategy together. So you start to come up with some different ideas here as you enter the keywords that you're targeting. And the same thing if I look at negative keywords. So I did negative keywords and Google Ads negative keywords. And then you're going to see some of the top keywords related to the keywords that you enter here. So these are the types of things that you want to start with in your article. So generally what I'll do is if you if I come over here to my five steps to combine my SEO and PPC strategy, you'll see combine SEO and PPC marketing. So there's a keyword right there. And then I have my video here. I'm going to have to add obviously a lot more content to this page. And then I'll start down here. So SEO and PPC strategy, how to integrate SEO and PPC, how can PPC and SEO work together? And then in addition to that, I'll also do something like SEO versus PPC, which I already have an article for. So I'll link it right here. And then I have my in summary at the very end of my article. So I scroll down a little bit as I'm creating this, I can come up with a couple different article video ideas for Surfside PPC. So two of them that I came up with is SEO strategies and PPC strategies. So pretty simple things. I'm sure you'll see some videos coming out shortly with those. So I'll go over a little bit more about SEO and PPC strategies and then write some articles on them because that's going to help me continue to increase views on my YouTube videos and drive more traffic to my website. And then down here, so I have keywords and then I have people also ask. So the other thing that I'll do is I'll come right into Google and I'll just search. So combine SEO and PPC. And you can see right here, so SEO and PPC integration, working together, strategy. So Jenny, what I'll do is I'll enter the keyword that I'm targeting in Google. So here's combine SEO and PPC. I also did it for negative keywords. So you'll just see up here, negative keywords. So if I come back over to combine SEO and PPC, I scroll down to the bottom. What I'll do is I'll look at searches related to combined SEO and PPC. I'll copy these keywords and I paste them directly into my article here. So you're going to see keywords right here and then you're going to see SEO and PPC integration working together strategy SEO versus PPC. And then I have a couple more ideas down here. So all of these are things I want to write about in this article because these are other things that people are typing into Google. So it's other questions that people have other problems that people face. And then the other thing I'll do is I'll copy and paste this people also ask section. So you come back over to Google, we'll scroll up and you can see here people also ask. So how does SEO work with PPC? How does SEO affect PPC? What is SEO and PPC strategies? Is SEO or PPC better? So I'll come back over to my article. I'll put those down here as well. So people also ask. Now, if I come over to negative keywords, you'll see the same exact thing. So I type in negative keywords here. I also did Google ads negative keywords. So you can get a little bit more about what people are looking for when it comes to the article that you're writing. So I'll scroll down a little bit. You can use the people also ask section. How do I find negative keywords? And then if we look right at my article, so I'll come in here, ultimate Google ads, negative keywords, guide and list. So people are looking for more information about how to add Google ads, negative keywords to their campaign, some best practices. And they also look for a list of negative keywords to start their campaigns with. If I scroll down, you'll see a definition. I have my video here and then how to add negative keywords to Google ads. And then if you scroll down more, how do I find negative keywords? So the same exact thing that someone typed in right here, people also ask, how do I find negative keywords? I just want to answer that question. 
Now what you can do is if you start clicking on some of these and just expanding them and collapsing them, you'll see more information here. What type of keywords should be added? Why are negative keywords used? How do I add negative keywords to Google ads? So I try to answer as many of those questions as possible. Now, last but not least, so as I create this new article, combine SEO and PPC, what I can see are the different types of articles that are already ranking. So how to combine SEO and PPC for more powerful results, eight ways PPC and SEO are better when used together. So it'll help me find some ideas for my own articles and see what Google is already ranking. So then I can not only look at the types of content that are ranking really high in search engines already, but some of the questions that I can answer for people, some of the problems that people are facing, and some of the things that Google is looking for as I start to write more and more content. So this is a simple SEO strategy to optimize your new content. Basically find some different keywords that people are typing in by doing a quick search in Google, using the Google Keyword Planner and just typing your keywords right in here and making sure that you're continuously improving your articles so that you're answering all the questions that people have. So in combined SEO and PPC, I click here, I look at it, and it's gonna give me a few more. Does PPC improve SEO? So I can answer all of these different questions directly into my article, and then as Google is ranking articles, they're gonna see that I end up answering a ton of the different questions that people have. I touch on a lot of different keywords that people are typing in, so it'll just help with rankings over time. And ultimately what you want is to create a very useful article, a very relevant article that answers all the questions, all the issues that people are facing and helps give them a solution to the problems that they're facing. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.